This is garbage. You actually like this? Buenos dias or buenas noches, my beautiful people. It's just me tonight. Josh is probably doing his own thing. But I just want to quickly talk about the Captain America Brave New World trailer. And <laughs> I'm trying to approach this not being an asshole or anything like that. Let's be fair. Okay. Already seen it. Alright, just... We're gonna show... Just... I'm gonna pause some moments. I'm not gonna fully play it. Because at the moment I have a bit of a run-in with my Acolyte review. Which I'm really annoyed at the moment. But... Overall thoughts... I really felt nothing for this trailer. It's like... It's... It's eh. I can see what they're trying to go for, which is more of a Winter Soldier type of vibe. And a lot of the reaction channels are saying that. But... It, it, to me, Steve Rogers is Captain America, to me. Uh, again, not trying to be an asshole about it. If you like Sam Wilson as Captain America, more power to you. But I, I like I like him when he was Falcon. Not gonna lie. I mean, not saying Anthony Mackie can't carry a movie. I've, I think he can. But we'll see. <laughs> It's kind of weird that Bucky's not even in this movie, but I guess because he's got Thunderbolts, a film that I also don't care about. I guess where I'm at with the MCU is that I really don't care about a lot of projects coming out that has nothing to do with characters that I like. So anything that's not X-Men or Spider-Man, really, I, I don't care. I mean, you made me care for a lot of the Avengers characters, but they're... They're gone. Majority of them are gone. So it's definitely a hard sell to promote new characters to the public and maybe older fans as well that grew up with this stuff. And it's a hard sell because then now we have to get used to newer characters and we're going to be comparing to the legacy characters. It's just how it is. Whether you like it or not, it's how it is. But overall, uh, this film's been reshot four times. And the recent one is when they added Giancarlo Exposito. So I am very... I'm very surprised that he's actually in this trailer. If I can get a, a shot of him. Let me see. If I can find him. I don't know why it's so hard to find this fella. Oh, here, here we go. We got it. There he is. So he only recently been added to the cast. I think more is like a Fallout guy. So we'll probably will see him maybe in the early parts of the film. Just to maybe promotional material only. To say, oh, you know, he's the main bad guy. When majority of us nerds know that it's the leader. There's going to be a lot of stuff from the Incredible Hulk coming back. And it kind of, you just can't help but think, well, why don't you just make a Hulk sequel? But you put everything that we wanted for years into a Captain America movie where it's not Steve Rogers, where it's Sam Wilson. And I just feel like it's too little too late. The same thing happened with Abomination with uh, She-Hulk. It was just too little too late and they just made that character lame. And, you know, <laughs> I, I hate that show as well. That that show stinks, all right? She-Hulk, Thor Love and Thunder, and Ant-Man and Wasp... Oh, sorry, my phone. Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania are the trinity of trash of the MCU. So, yeah, this... Uh, like, this is... I don't know. It's definitely one of the m big things that they're selling is that the Red Hulk is in it who is General Ross. I guess spoilers, by the way, but I guess to normies who don't know who the Red Hulk is. I would say his suit looks better. It's funny that they were very comic book accurate with Sam Wilson's suit when he first wore it in his show, but then they change it to more something similar to what Steve Rogers wore, and it looks better. There's even a concept art where he wore a full helmet of it, and that looked better cool but other than that it's yeah you know it's whatever 
the wings look nice. But in this part, so this is also a major issue with the MCU currently when it comes to reshoots, is that the visual effects artists get, woof, man, they cracked that whip for those visual effects artists to really work that ass off with this, you know, with the post production. And you can really tell, especially in the cherry blossom part of the film, I think it's one of those last minute, uh, maybe final acts or maybe mid way through the movie, because I do believe that's when we first see the Red Hulk in action. It just, it looked pretty bad. If, hang on, we go back earlier where Sam was, he's basically either in a green screen or in the volume. I've seen this sort of awkwardness before with Wakanda Forever. It was really bad. And this is no different. I know it's a trailer. It's kind of crazy to release this early, but again, X, um, not X-Men. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out. So that's why they're releasing this trailer. But the problem is, will people go out and watch it? Because... You got two big characters. Well, one one of them is the biggest, most popular character, Wolverine, with one of the most likable actors being featured in the film. And I'm excited for it. Deadpool and Wolverine? We got to see Wolverine in his yellow costume? Hell yeah, dude. This? Ah, uh, like, Red Hulk? Ah, uh, like, Harrison Ford? He, he, he probably does not care. He's obviously in it for a paycheck. I think they should have picked a different actor. They should have brought back... Uh, brought, sorry. Excuse me, sorry. They should have brought back Sam Elliott, to be honest. I just rewatched the Ang Lee Hulk, and it was actually not a bad watch. Definitely... Oh, the editing is definitely really out there. But I saw what they were trying to do, and there were definitely a few slow parts. But Sam Elliott as Ross was so good. I think they should have brought him back. I mean, they made a joke with the mustache, but you should have brought Sam Elliott back. You seen that mustache he has now? I mean, that's a legendary mustache. It, but I guess maybe they don't want the visual effects artist to animate the mustache growing back when he turns back to human form. Because if you don't know, when he turns Red Hulk, he loses the mustache. It's kind of dumb. It's pretty dumb. I remember first seeing that in Earth's uh, Mightiest Hero cart uh, cartoon. That was a bit silly. But yeah, a lot of the CGI is not ready. So in here, I didn't see it the first time, but oh yeah, that's, the, that's the helmet he's wearing. So that actually looks good. I don't mind that costume. So this is where that Celestial was frozen in Eternals. Eternals was a bore. I only saw it once. Didn't need to watch it again. But we definitely all had questions about the Celestials, about that statue that was frozen because, um, what's her name? Cersei uh, transmuted it into basically, yeah, just a statue before it emerged and destroyed the planet. So they're going to touch upon that, which finally a lot of fans have been asking what, what's the repercussions with that? Because it's kind of ridiculous that it was never mentioned in future MCU projects. Kind of shows that none of the writers are communicating anymore. Because one one thing happens and it's never mentioned again. Something as, you know, that's kind of a big deal. Just like a celestial <laughs> being frozen in the middle of the ocean. I think it would have been a cool detail if you would see it in a distance in some other Marvel projects. Like you would see it just like a glimpse of it somewhere. If characters were maybe in the middle of the ocean or in a country that was closer to it. We don't know exactly where it's located, I think. I don't know. Maybe Eternals did explain it, but uh, again, the movie was such a bore. It was so forgettable. But, yeah, it's just... Cool, you know, I guess. But again, it's like too little, too late. I don't... After everything that's happened, I don't care. Uh, here we go. We get a better look at the helmet. Yeah, I, don't, I do not mind the helmet. I really don't. And the title is, the the title is very boring. I guess it's trying to go for that thriller sort of look. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you've seen the previous Captain America titles, it has that metallic look at 
in the fonts and stuff, but this is just it's so plain, so boring to me personally. But yeah, it has all the ticking sound effects and stuff like that. There's some dr drama regarding with, what was her name? A character named Sabra being in the film because she's an Israeli superhero. I, I don't know the full story. I just find it hilarious that people are, are whinging on Twitter yet again. Especially people that, I don't know, make a big deal about a lot of stuff when it comes to race or whatever. It's so stupid. So stupid. And I know this film's going to be very political. I mean, <laughs> I live in Australia, so could care less about politics. And, in all honesty. Unless you make it interesting. But I highly doubt it. And so... Okay, here's our Red Hulk. Grand finale. If I can get the scene. No. There we go. Okay. Obviously, very early stages in the CGI. Because this looks like a PS3 cutscene. It's pretty bad. It's, again, it's in that um, cherry blossom area. It's, oof. Again. You can kind of see Harrison Ford's face. Man, how uncanny it's going to be. <laughs> seeing Harrison Ford's face. It's just kind of unreal. Again, uh, red's my favorite color. As you know, with my profile pic and everything that's in the channel. Red's my favorite color. So, you would think I'll be sold. But you gotta do more than that. I don't know what the story is going to be about. I It's just, I don't care about this version of Captain America. And the stuff that I was interested in many years ago when it came to what the Incredible Hulk set up is going to be featured in this film, it's it's too late. It, it, the fact that you made the main Hulk lame and cringe and he's played by an actor who doesn't seem like he's trying anymore. Mark... At least Mark Ruffalo tried in the first Avengers, and then he just... Mark Ruffalo was playing Mark Ruffalo, and that was it. But other than that, yeah, it's just... Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. I mean, if, if you're excited about the movie, that's fine. Happy for you. But yeah, uh, this movie... I doubt this movie's gonna make a lot of money. It might make a good amount of money, maybe. But not as much as Deadpool and Wolverine is going to make. But that's just me, personally. Unless, unless they're gonna add She-Hulk in the movie, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think so. Don't do that. <laughs> but again, it's trying to be serious. Marvel's trying to go, going, go back to the more serious route, which is a good thing. But again, I don't care. I'm more interested to, to hear what's going on with the Young Avengers. Apparently, that's becoming a whole. I don't know, it's becoming a Scarlet Witch movie. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I grew I grew up reading the Young Avengers comics, so I'm a I'm a Young Avengers fan. Yeah, the name's a bit silly, but uh I know it's not gonna be the same. I I'm down to talk more about that in the future. Again, we uh Comic Con is not far away in uh because Marvel's hosting a show, right? Yeah, yeah, in San Diego San Diego. They're going to announce some stuff, so we'll probably get more news about it. But in <laughs> when it comes to me, yeah, I'm more of a Spider-Man, X-Men fan, and I guess Young Avengers fan as well. That's definitely a bit of a niche because I know a few nerds find it a bit cringe, whatever. I think it was handled pretty well, especially the first six volumes. I mean, sorry, six issues. I think it was six issues regarding with the Kang and Iron Lad stuff. That was great. But again, I, I bought the army best, so I gotta reread it. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, my opinion is somewhat valid. But yeah, those are all, overall my thoughts. Just first impressions, nothing too crazy about it. Just want to put it out there. It's just yeah, the the trailer's just meh. I, I I don't yeah, I don't care about this. Same thing with Agatha. I could care less about Agatha. I, I have been skipping a few recent MCU stuff and I'm not losing sleep for it. But if you like it, if you're hyped for it, good for you, but... Okay, that, that crazy homeless uh, guy is going off, so I'm going to end the video now. <laughs> Wish you guys a good day or night. What do you think of the trailer? Comment down below, alright? Ciao.